it with all the details and uh, have you uh, fully prepared for this uh, incredible event. At the end, we will have a session of Q&A and the team will be able to answer all your, your requests. So let's get started. Uh, what do we, uh, what, how does uh, Ciel Paris look like for this uh, 60th, uh, edition, 60th anniversary edition? Well, just a few figures. Uh, you are 7,500 exhibitors gathered uh, in, in, in October, 19th to, 20, to 23rd of October. Uh, it's uh, 130 countries who will be represented. The exhibition space is now 257,000 square meters. Uh, so approximately 100 uh, supermarkets altogether. 10 sectors are represented with a full sectorization this year, which is a, a, a new feature uh, in 2024. The purpose of that is for uh, buyers uh, to be able to find you and find your great products uh, quicker and have uh, great meetings with you guys. Uh, 650 startups are also gathered uh, on the floor show, show and um, about 150 of them are in uh, what we call the, the startup, uh, the Ciel startup space uh, so you will be uh, in the in the center between 5a and 6 let's go through uh, the different sectors so from all one to part of 5a we have the savory sector uh, the fine food is also at the beginning of the 5a french regions are in the to the right uh, top uh, hand side of 5A, frozen products in 5A. 5B, confectionery, sweets and uh, bakery, pastry. 5C, all, all the beverages, uh, whether they are alcoholic, non-alcoholic or hot beverages. Sixth, we have all the animal protein. 6B, uh, we have a mix uh, of um, savory, sweet, and frozen. Um, you have to know that Ciel Paris was sold out uh, already in, in uh, April. So we had to increase the exhibition space to welcome some of you. Se all seven dairy, uh, mainly, but also alternative food, ingredients, and equipment. Last but not least, uh, all eight, with uh, pulses, grain, fruit, and vegetables. Uh, we even extended the, the, the all eight to be able to welcome you uh, in, in this all. Once again, uh, before even continuing, I would like to uh, highlight how uh, thrilled I am to welcome you, and I hope that uh, this, uh, this session will, uh, will help you to to be fully equipped to make the most of, of uh, Ciel Paris 2024. Next, uh, we have obviously buyers. It's 285,000 professionals gathered during the five days of the event. 205 countries are represented. One third uh, French, one third Europe, one third uh, outside Europe. And all the type of buyers are represented, uh, importers, uh, retail, uh, food, uh, food service, uh, uh, wall sellers, all, all of them are, are there. And 40% uh, of the, 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 the buyers, of the visitors, are a C, at a C level. Next, uh, we have... Uh, or some KPIs that we would want, we wanted to uh, highlight uh, the need, ex, ex, the, the very important need to prepare. It's a it's a major show, as you know. Two, in average, two hundred contacts are made by exhibitors uh, once uh, prepared, and uh, to do that, we highly encourage you to send the invitations you are you have in your in your pack. Uh, over 50 billion euros of purchasing power are on the show. 
So to get in touch with the buyers you want to meet uh, in advance uh, and uh, again, invite them to come to your, to your booth. 83% of the buyers are making a, transac a transaction on site or just after the sale and uh, consider this uh, event as a very strategic to, to their company. You have uh, on the slide some, but only a few uh, of, of, the, of the different type of buyers. The must attend event, Cial uh, Paris is obviously a, a platform to make business, but it's also a platform to get knowledge and be able to make strategic choices. So get the full uh, of, of the trends, of um, the animations also, so information, animation, and content that is available on the, on the, on the show. Among those, uh, I wanted to highlight Cial Insights. Cial Insight is a major survey that we are conducted, that we are commissioning with key partners such as Kantar, Protein XTC and uh, Circana on the trends, uh, on consumer trends, on food service, tr sorry, food service trends, and obviously uh, product innovation. And uh, this, uh, this uh, key information is available on site and um, uh, available to, to you all to, to, to decipher uh, what the trends are. It's also available as the, the, the main track of Cial Talks, uh, where the discussions are happening and workshops are happening at the at the at the top of 5A. You, unmissable. You you will see it clearly. Cial Innovation. I hope many of you candidated and apply, applied for Cial Innovation. Uh, we received two uh, uh, two thousand two hundred products. And we made a, a selection. The, this, uh, the, the awardees uh, have been uh, revealed to the press yesterday morning. And uh, it's uh, also a way to have your, your, uh, your product exposed and, and promoted within the Cial Innovation space to give an even bigger uh, exposure of your, of your innovation. Cial Startup I mentioned, so I will not go back to that, but I would like to highlight that within the Cial Startup uh, space, we have some Cial pitches where startups will be able to pitch uh, to an audience. We already have two billion uh, euros of um, uh, investment secured and available uh, on site for those startups. Next, uh, Cial is in, in, the, in the event, but also outside, we have uh, Cial uh, off. We have Cial, uh, could we change the slide, please, uh, Tim? Thank you. Uh, we have the, the off, so uh, the ability for you to enjoy your Parisian experience. Uh, the team has selected some addresses for you to discover. Uh, and uh, there is a wonderful, but we will go back to that, uh, uh, boat uh, and gala dinner on, on, on the Seine River. Uh, so I hope you will take this, this opportunity to discover Paris in an in a, uh, exclusive way. We have uh, the celebration of Ciel Paris, obviously, uh, uh, and so save the date of Sunday 20th. Uh, where we will celebrate with you uh, this uh, 60th anniversary. Cial Innovation, is a, we have added Cial Taste to Cial Innovation, uh, the ability for the buyers to try and for the audience and visitors to try some of the products selected at Cial Innovation. We have, a, uh, as you probably know, uh, Cial Paris DNA is composed with uh, innovation innovation, but also CSR is uh, at, the, at the heart of Ciel Paris. We have this uh, main theme that we have for many years now, four years now, on the change. Uh, and we added, a, I mean, it's written competition, but it's more, more contest. And I'm, I'm very happy to say that we have received 860 candidate uh, application for this uh, uh, contest where we innovate in initiatives in the CSR 
uh, spectrum have, have been promoted by our exhibitors. Thank you for all of you who have applied. Uh, it's wonderful to see all the the energy and commitment in this uh, very important topic uh, for the ecosystem. Last but not least, uh, for the first time, we have uh, some summits, four summits um, that are closed door uh, on the side of Ciel Paris. Uh, we have them in the venue, so you can access uh, easily the, those uh, key uh, topics that are AI Deep Tech, uh, Supply Chain, CSR, and Africa Summits, where uh, th those summits are differs from the Cial Talks uh, speeches and, and the content by being uh, very uh, sharing with the audience uh, having a, a keynote, for instance, we have uh, on uh, on the CSR summit uh, a, a keynote speech from Cécile Bellio from the Bell Group. We have uh, for Deep Tech AI uh, Ram Rompelli from Walmart giving a, a, a keynote. And after those keynotes, we have roundtables and networking. So I can only uh, highlight that you're welcome to have a look and and have someone from your company joining those those uh, those summits. Um, finally, uh, we have. I'll, I'll let the team. Could you could you change the slide, please? So uh, we we have uh, many uh, other other animation that we would like you to to attend. So Cial, Cial jobs, but I know the team will will go back to that. And uh, we are available at any time to make sure you're all set for this uh, incredible edition. So let's make sure you are set and I let the floor, I give the floor to the team to guide you through the this last mile. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Valentina. I'm the Customer Relations Manager for Cial. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you all of you um, for being here. It's very important for us. We put um, much effort to prepare something very complete for you and to guide you through the last steps uh, and to lead you to Cial Paris safe and sound. Um, so I'm very happy that you be able to reach us and to attend this webinar. And I will leave you um, in very good hands. So it's Kali Stay one of our customer relations officer, um, which will be the master of ceremony today. So thank you for joining. And uh, we, of course, remain available for any questions at the end, or you will find our uh, email address in the chat. Thank you. Hello, everybody. So thank you, Valentina. Thank you, Audrey. Um, so like Valentina said, I'm one of the customer relations officers, so you might have had me on the phone at some point. Um, <clears throat> we're going to see a few details that might be useful, and uh, we want to help you to make sure that you're all set before the event. We are one month away now. Um, we're going to start off with your uh, customer, so like your customer area, so exhibitor area, how you connect to it. Just a quick reminder for all of you that might not have had the time to access your exhibitor space yet, or for our newcomers as well, the latest uh, um, bookings and registered. We, for the customer area, you have two spaces. So like you could see on the screen, you have the login and the sign up. So if you have not created your account yet, you can directly sign up on the account, uh, use your main email address. So the main email address of your registration is the email address you used as the main contact. If you're not sure about it, just give us a call and we'll help you find which one it was. If you have forgotten your password, don't hesitate as well to just use the don't remember your password uh, option. And uh, we're all set. So most of the subjects we will be talking about today are influenced by the type of stand you booked. So if you have booked a fitted stand, you have, assign, you have an assigned stand builder. 
and all the technical orders such as water, electricity, compressed air, also car park access will have to go through them. So we have put you here a list of the type of stand and who takes care of them. The contact detail as well, if you need them. Per type of stand, uh, design, the stand designs, the essential plus, and um, are all created by creative, by GL events, and you have different type of contact depending on which one. Essential plus stands do have a um, separation between the holes, so 5B and 5C will be taken care of by Connect. You also have the contact down here, and uh, then we have the pavilions by Connect as well, the platiniums by Lynx, and the premium stands by Liberté Events. If you have a bear stand, you can also declare a decorator, so you might take care of all of it yourself. If you do have a decorator, you can declare it directly on your exhibitor space. If you go to the tab logistics and then my decorators. Let's have a look now at the online store. As you can see, the store offers many options. As we said previously, depending on having a fitted stand or bear stands, the options you will have are different. If you have a fitted stand, the stand builder will be the one ordering the technical, so parking, electricity, water, rigging, and hanging uh, frames as well. So you might see you might prefer to see directly with them, as they will be able to give you a more precise, uh, detailed order than orders and uh, and tools that you can use from them. We really want uh, to insist on one point. Uh, we do have a price increase on everything that's available in the store. So order as soon as possible your technical services. The store, the online store will close on the 9th of October. And from the 10th, the price increase is 20%. So you will be able to order last minute on site, but 20% increased price. We also have a point on the power supply. So depending on which one you took, uh, do you know if you have a permanent or limited power supply? So the difference is the permanent, permanent power supply is on 24 seven for the duration of the fair, while the limited power supply will only be on from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Should you have any fresh or perishable products on your stand, we strongly advise you to order the permanent one and not the limited one. Also, if you are planning an evening on event on your stand at some point in the fair, you might need the permanent one to be able to do the party, might not as well end up in the dark, right? Um, you can order the power supply and the permanent or limited one from the online store. Of course, if you do have a fitted stand, please get in touch with your uh, stand builder and tell them which one you will need. Now let's have a look at the forms. So it's very important for you to go have a look at this. So in your exhibitor space, in the logistics tab, <clears throat> you have the forms and drawings. As you can see on the screen here, uh, you have different forms. One very important one for everybody be it fitted stand or bare stand, you do need to fill up the safety certificate soon, as this is mandatory for everyone to be able to uh, participate and actually be there. Um, you have uh, the deadlines are written there and also on the to do list that's accessible from the home space. So you will be able to download it, keep it uh, handy. It's always good to have a a little to-do list to know where you're standing at. Um, the other forms are not mandatory, depending on what you have to do. Uh, it's all according to your needs. So if you do have a de kitchen declaration to do, please barely bear in mind the deadline. And uh, as well as the machines in operations, you have the details there. You also have the declaration of, an ev of evening uh, events. Please go have a look. If you click on the link directly here, they will. Um, uh, there is an email address. There is a few details. 
you can send them me send them an email they're here for you and uh, we're all here to answer your questions if you need help and uh, there's also the checkout inventory for best stands uh, let's focus a little bit on the drawings uh, the drawings are important because if you do have a bear stand when you order technical services if you want to have the water supply or the power supply exactly where you want it compared to your layout you do have to tell us in advance or it's not going to end up where you wanted it <clears throat> so uh, please uh, go to the drawing so if you click on the drawings you will end up here you can download directly the the blank floor plan and it will look like this you can fill it out do follow the advice they gave you uh, so you're precise on it and it's accepted straight away and they don't have to ask you for a new one you don't have to go back to it um, and then compared to each order you need to place uh, the place them on the on the stand on the stand layout directly let's now have a look uh, at the logi pass so the logi pass is needed for is a vehicle access for you to deliver any kind of products or material to your stand. So they are free and they allow you to drive around the, the exhibition center grounds and around the halls. So you do need to have one, they're free. You can go on the platform, the link is here. You go on the platform, you create your account, and then you can create different uh, LogiPass for the uh, for different vehicles and different time slots. So you can choose, and according to which kind of uh, vehicle you have, the time slot will be different. Uh, then you do need to bear in mind the LogiPass is only for the vehicle, so it's the badge for your vehicle. You do need to have a badge for the person driving the, the vehicle, as well as any other passenger that might be there. So they do need badges. We're going to see the badges in a few minutes. If you need details, uh, you have a hotline that's here. You also have more details in the exhibitors guide. That's always available to download on your exhibitor space in the home page, as well as the logistics tab. Um, <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at the parking as well. So we do have parking. Uh, you will have to go buy it depending on the type of vehicle you have. You can find it in the store. Just use the keywords and you will find it easily. Once you have uh, registered it, you can go to the uh, participation tab. And on the participation tab, you will have my parkings. From my parkings, you have the uh, here you will find the ones you bought and then you can generate your parking pass. The car parks are open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day throughout the event. So this is what the voucher will look like uh, for the parking. So we do advise you to print it. It's much easier for you. At least you have it with you. And, um, and no problem of, uh, of your phone not working or broken screen. The parking slots are not blocked by lens, license plates. So do not worry about that. If you have to switch vehicles, it's not a problem for the parking slots. Uh, you also have it for the five days, the entire five days of the event. For those of you that will not have their own vehicles, we do have a shuttle program set, set in place. It will leave from three different places in Paris. So you have Porte Maillot, Gare de Lyon and Gare Montparnasse. They leave from 7.30 to 11.30 in the mornings towards uh, the exhibition center. And then the return trip is from 3 to 8.30 and it's leaving every 10 minutes. You have the addresses, we put the addresses here for you as well. And uh, for the three different spots in the city and also for the airport shuttle that is completely free. You can buy vouchers for the uh, shuttles from the exhibitor space. And do remember you need your badge to be able to get in the, in the 
shuttle bus. We wanted to do a quick focus on the badges, licenses, invitations, and vouchers platform. So it's a different platform accessible from your exhibitor area. So on the tab, badges, licenses, invitations, and vouchers, at the bottom, you have that big yellow button that will take you to a different platform. On this platform, you will have the invitation codes. So we do have a lot of questions about invitation codes for your guests. So it's quite an easy one. You have uh, 40 codes for free uh, added with your registration. You will see them here. So once you go on eCodes, you have uh, the quota that will appear here and your code that will appear here. You also have the link that's completely uh, personalized with the e-code already in it. So if you send the e-code or the links directly to your, to your guests, they will just have to follow the link, get onto our uh, visitors page. It will uh, automatically fill in the, the codes and they will be able to just fill out their details, answer some questions and uh, and that's it, and download their e-badge, and uh, they will have it for the duration of the fair. So one invitation code used for all the 40 uh, guests. If you need more, you will keep the same codes, so it would stay the same. You can share it as much as you want. And at the bottom of the page, just as you can see here, you have the number of contacts that have used your code. So when you see yourself getting close to 40, you can just uh, add some more and the same code will be used so you don't have to send a new one to people. There is no uh, tumble between the two of them and just one code and they can use them. We wanted also a little point on the badges. So your quota will appear here. So if you're a direct exhibitor or a pavilion, you will have one badge per four square meters up to 150. If you are a co-exhibitor or a pavilion uh, partner, you will automatically have 10 badges. If you need more, do not hesitate on your exhibitor space to go to the store and buy some more. Uh, they are available, so go ahead. Do follow all the details of how to fill the badges. If you want to import uh, an Excel file, with all your badges filled up together. Uh, do you follow the rules strictly or it wouldn't work? But uh, they are all very well explained on the page and uh, it's quite easy to follow. The quota will appear here and the used one. Uh, one important point is you need to fill out the badges to be able to get the visa letter. So you fill out the badges they the details are in and it will go automatically to the visa letter tab that you have up here and you can download the visa letter the badges you can fill them up but not download them yet they will be available to download on the 24th of september if every bill is set invoices are settled you all get on the 24th you can download them directly as you will see on the exhibitors, uh, the badges platform, you have different types of badges. So you have the exhibitor badge, the normal one, the one you will use, but then you also have the VIP badge. You have um, all the service badges, the set, it, the build up and dismantling badges. And we are going to show you a quick look at the different kinds of uh, badge that you will have. So you have the service uh, badges. So the service badges are uh, for you to use for your suppliers. So if um, you have a supplier that will come during uh, build up, dismantling, and during the events, the service badge is uh, good for you. It will have the same access times and uh, days as the exhibitor badge. And the build up and dismantling badges are only used during build up and dismantling, and they will not uh, give you access to the to the to the event during the opening days. So 
so we gave you a little plan. Uh, you will get more details uh, from our logistics teams as well. They're going to give you uh, a whole passport that will give you details about many points and uh, sustainability as well. And uh, we have very great programs and some of the programs joining what Audrey said at the beginning. But uh, here is a quick map of where you could find us as well. So the big red pins are the uh, exhibitor desks. You are welcome to come see us. We can't wait to meet you there. And uh, and that's it for me. So I'm going to leave it to um, Jean-Gabriel to keep going yes. on the communication services. Hello, thank you, Caliste. Hello, all of you. It's great. I see that uh, that over 500 of you here, so it's uh, it's great. We are coming uh, close to the show. Uh, just two topics for me. One will be quick. It's a reminder. Um, you've got the opportunity uh, with Shell Jobs, which is something new, uh, to benefit from the the global community uh, to to give. Um, uh, the visibility uh, for your job offers to get the, the best candidates. So I guess you, you've been told about that already, but um, just wanted you to, to, to remember that you can uh, still use it. You, can, you, you, you have time to use it, but uh, the sooner you use it, the better uh, and the most profile uh, and uh, candidates you will get. So there is a form. Um, you can you can access and use uh, for that. You just have to fill in the form, uh, and then uh, when it's ready, uh, not until 30th of July. I don't know where is that. Um, <clears throat> you, you you can still fill the form and post your offers, and your offers will be there on the virtual forum. Uh, then you will have uh, probably some candidates, and you can confirm the appointment and meet the candidates. Uh, during the virtual recruitment forum, uh, it's 100% digital so that uh, there is no issue with uh, meeting the candidates on site because you have other things to do during the show uh, and then you can meet uh, candidates from all over the world. So um, uh, please keep that in mind if you are looking for uh, uh, great profiles uh, for, your, for your company. But what I, wa I really wanted to talk about today was the net uh, the networking uh, tool uh, that is now available? Uh, if we can move forward with the with the slides, um, now uh, I know that uh, you're uh, quite a lot a lot of you wanted to uh, have some information about the networking tool. So it's 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 live now. It's a, a, a platform. Um, there is the link here. Uh, I guess you will share the, the, the presentation with you and we will put the, the link as well in the in the chat. But then you will there are several places you can access the link in a, in your space on the website. Uh, so it's on it's over. So it's the right thing to do is networking with the Cell Paris visitor before and obviously during uh, the show through the platform. So uh, the idea is to boost your leads and, and give you an even better return on investment and starting now. So the platform is, I will explain how it works. It's accessible to every exhibitors and every visitors from, from Cell Paris. Just have to go there and, and make sure you can uh, you, you run it. Um, you will have uh, you will be able to to fill it very quickly some information that are needed to be able to to, to chat between exhibitors and visitors, and uh, you can, as an exhibitor, contact and send messages to 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 the visitors. So uh, I put there to connect and visit. And, and see the list of visitors that are uh, on the platform just opened. So uh, in a few days, there will be a lot of visitors uh, from now. We just need them to, to register. Same for you. Uh, so you will be able to look into it, uh, search for the one that you're interested in and send messages to them. You will not be able to take uh, meetings straight away. First, you will have to have uh, the OK from the, the visitors and uh, and then the visitors will propose a rendezvous to you. The visitors, they can message you as well. If you're if they're interested in your company, in your product, they will be able to message you and they will be able to propose a meeting on site. So here is how it looks like. First of all, 
um, it's in the same uh, platform as uh, all the pro where all the products are displayed. It's live, so you can go and check it. Um, you you will have first to uh, to connect. If you're already connected and registers, uh, registered for your product, then it's the same registration. You don't have to do it twice. If you have not yet uh, put your product uh, on the platform, then you will have to register. Uh, so it's very easy, uh, just a, a few fields. Then when you're, uh, you're set up, you can go to the uh, event networks. So there you just have to select uh, CL Paris. Normally, uh, it will be already done because it's, it's probably the only event you're attending to uh, right now for on that platform, so it will be already selected. And uh, you you click on I participate. Then you will be able to interact. Uh, here you click on uh, I participate. Uh, you if you just think about doing this, otherwise you will not be able to send a send send a, send message. Then a few examples of what can happen. Uh, you will receive some appointment requests. So here is how it looks like. Um, you will you will have a notification saying you have a new meeting. Then you will click and see uh, how it uh, who is asking for a meeting, what is the time, and then obviously you can accept or refuse uh, the, the the meeting. Um, just uh, it it seems obvious, but I prefer to say it. Uh, the meetings can take place only during Cial Paris. Well, the, the platform is open only uh, during Cial Paris. Obviously, if you want to get in touch, uh, make a meeting before uh, with the, 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 the visitor, it's possible. Then you just have to interact with him through message. But on the pl using the platform, you can set the, the meetings only during the show. All right, um, and basically that's that, that that's mainly it. Um, it's very simple as the user journey. Um, the <clears throat> we use that that slide to show, show the visitor uh, is uh, requesting uh, an event, is choosing uh, the, the 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 day and uh, and time of the event. Then the exhibitors. Uh, uh, validate the appointment. You will get some uh, re appointment reminder, uh, and then uh, you can just have your appointment on the, during the during the show. Uh, a few details. You, as I said, um, you will be able to, to to send messages. So this you can send as many as you want to as many visitors as you want. Um, you have uh, the notifications. And the, the the tool is basically very simple. To, to you don't have uh, very difficult things to, to 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 you don't have to have some some special craft to use it. It's, it's very simple, and and that's it. And it's live and uh, and just try use it. Uh, I see there are some questions. We we we, we will answer that. Uh, but that's that's all for me uh, right now. I'm just very happy to. Uh, to 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 have that that service open one month before the show now, uh, please use it. Um, please as well, uh, if you haven't done that, uh, make the declaration for 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 your products. Uh, it will eventually all come live. Uh, I saw uh, a few uh, a few questions about uh, about the the, the product being uh, visible in the catalog. We'll answer that as well, obviously. Uh, but the the more the better, um, uh, and really make the distinction between uh, the the catalog for you as an exhibitor and uh, which uh, where you have some uh, option that are you have to pay for it and the one for your products where you can put as many products as many photos and texts as you want to uh, give uh, the visitors uh, the, the 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 feeling to contact you and uh, to come to see you on your booth and that's all for me thank you very much i guess it's alex hello yes <laughs> hello everyone um 
Well, very, very happy to be here doing this webinar with you today. Um, so part of your preparation is to make sure that you stand out amongst the 7,500 exhibitors that are going to come at Cial and to optimize your return on investment and your on-site experience. So we have a wide range of communication tools that are dedicated, dedicated to help you achieve your sales and your marketing goals. Um, so whether your objective is business oriented or boost traffic to your stand, develop your network, uh, we have um, um, we have a wide range of ways to help you capture the attention of visitors, stand out from your competitors. We have solutions, we have tools to advise you. So I will present some of them. And of course, uh, we can share with you a more complete catalog after your meeting um, and, uh, and set up conversations with the sales team if needs be. So our sales team is here to help you first identify the most suitable tools to help you boost your traffic on stand and make sure you stand out from competitors. One example is the lead generation pack. Um, it, aims, um, it aims to make you and your products known to the CL community even before the opening date of the show. Um, this is one example. I'm not going to go over all of them because we'd, you know, we would spend the day on this. Um, so we can also have tools to help you have a unique experience on site. Um, we have, for instance, uh, a dedicated pack that gives you um, a VIP badge, a gala dinner cruise for one person, and a shuttle pass for five days, um, so that going to and from Paris is not an issue anymore. So that is to optimize your experience um, on site. Uh, we can also suggest you to reserve a table or a seat at the Cial VIP Gala Dinner on October 21st. Seats are limited. It's in a very exclusive evening. It will be unforgettable um, and a unique networking opportunity. So um, don't miss this one out. And finally, you can also celebrate. Um, if you're celebrating a special anniversary, we can talk about this. We're here to support you and find the best way to do it um, and celebrate with you. Sian provides you with uh, exclusive spaces also that you can, where you can organize your own events and our teams are available to work with you on tailor-made offers that are adapted to your needs and to your objectives. One location would be the Portique. It's a room on the mezzanine floor of Hall 6. It can be reached directly from the hall entrance and it has large windows facing outside overlooking the hall. Um, a second location could be the Terrasse de la Verrière. It's in the middle of the reception gallery located right in front of Hall 4. It's an open area that is very conducive to dialogue if that is uh, what you're looking for in your events. Um, we also have a very broad visibility offering to enhance your image, uh, to capture attention, to stand out amongst your competitors. And the price range is very wide, uh, making our tools accessible to all budget. It all depends on budget and needs, and we can have this conversation together. Um, so you may choose from several sponsorship offers. Here, for instance, uh, the VIP lounge, uh, the, the sponsoring of the VIP lounge to promote your brand daily to um, the 11,000 most influential VIPs and top buyers that are going to be attending Cial. There is also the sponsoring of the Startup Village, which is centrally located, and it provides you with visibility to all visitors of the show. And if you prefer to associate your image and your brand with content, that's also possible with sponsorship of Cial Insights um, in an exclusive or a more targeted manner. We offer you a wide range of digital tools to also enhance your visibility to a target audience. Um, and you can also choose to be visible in the exhibition halls through columns, position, and strategic locations throughout the show. Um, and finally, there is a range of print visibility, uh, like here with the presence in the visitor's guide. 
Um, and again, this is a, the conversation really depends on what you're looking for, what are your needs, what is your strategy in terms of visibility, who you're targeting as an audience. Uh, and my team and I, we are at your disposal to support you and to advise you with the tools that best suit your needs and your budget. So free, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to have the conversation with you. And I look forward to welcoming you at Cial in just a couple of, in just a few weeks. Thank you. So we will answer the questions you might have asked until now uh, in the chat. Uh, don't worry if we don't have time to go through all of them. We will send you an email. That's why we asked for your details when you entered uh, the meeting. So we will uh, send you an email. We will come back to you. Do not hesitate in contacting us. We also gave you a few contacts here. So you have our phone numbers. This is our team of uh, customer relations officer. We will be very happy to help you uh, through all this. Uh, like Alexandra said, uh, we have a whole team of sales. Um, uh, the sales team will be very happy to help you with visibility and any tools you might want to, um, to use for your participation and uh, yeah you have also the accounting team if you have any questions on your invoices the catalog support uh, team so catalog is a platform in itself so they will be very happy to help you as well and the logistics team if you have questions uh, like the email as well from uh, the evening events on stand so question wise i think we had valentina answering quite a lot of them um during the the chat so so i think we have a few questions uh Good, good morning. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm here answering all your questions or trying to answer all your questions, at least uh, on the chat. Uh, just a general message uh, to because I can see that there is a question coming uh, quite regularly. If you have a fitted stand, uh, all your orders have to be placed uh, through your decorator. So your access to the online store, it's still uh, working, but you will not see all the family and uh, of items and uh, services uh, on the online store because all the technical services including parkings have to be placed uh, through them um, instead if you have a best stand all your orders will be placed by you or your decorator via the online store so that's the main difference and that's the reason why you might not see all the items you need and services you need um, in the online store um, so that's a, a, a quite important detail. Um, also, Logipass, uh, it's mandatory for all vehicles uh, needing to access the halls during setting up and dismantling. Uh, even if you are an exhibitor, you're not a supplier, uh, you will have to go through the Logipass um, service. Um, so, yeah, you can already fill in the forms for your badges, but not to you're not able to download them yet. Um, you will be able to download them starting from next week. Um, and yeah, I think that that's th these are the main questions that are um, being asked in the chat, but I'm still here behind the curtains, so I may jump in again if I see that some other questions are asked. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Valentina. Um, we do also, uh, you do have this presentation, like uh, Jean-Gabriel said, will be available for you. So the links that we put in there, contacts, don't worry about them. You will find them uh, after. And we did uh, uh, record the entire meeting. So don't worry about that too. If you want to go back to some of the answers we gave uh, on the way, you can you will be able to watch it again and again if you don't get tired of our faces. But uh, yeah, we're there, so don't worry. And uh, yeah, the phone numbers as well. So for Cial Innovation, yes, uh, I believe you can find 
the uh, the results of sale innovation on the on their platform. So if you go to sell uh, to the sell website, um, you will find all those informations in there, uh, as well as the laureate and yeah, all of the details are in there. Yeah, and for cell innovation, uh, all the, the the selected uh, uh, exhibitors, the when they have selected products, you will be notified and uh, and sent a, a media kit if you want to advertise your your selection. Uh, another question coming quite regularly is about the badges. Um, exhibitor badges grant you the access during setting up and dismantling. Service badges uh, need to be asked for uh, the suppliers that are intervening during the show and setting up and dismantling our badges are to be asked for all suppliers um, accessing the hall only during this period. So exhibitor badges for both uh, the um, opening um, event, uh, opening time of the event and setting up and dismantling service for uh, suppliers coming during the show and setting up and dismantling badges only for people intervening just in this period. I hope this is more clear. that the exhibitors, the exhibitor list is available on the website. Um, so you can find it uh, on our well, website. There's the relevant tab, um, 2024 exhibitors, and you will find uh, the complete list of our exhibitors. Um, and you can filter the list as you wish. You have many filters available, so you will be able to retrieve the information you need um, quite easily. Um, so I can see a few questions also about the still about the badges. Uh, you do not need to worry about creatives and uh, their uh, team. They uh, they have uh, their own accesses to the to the exhibition as one of our uh, providers in general. So no, it's not part of your own badges. Your exhibitor badges are for you and your team. So uh, I see a question about the decorator. So we talked about it a little bit, but yeah, in more details, if you do declare a decorator, once we validate them, uh, they will have their own credentials for your for the exhibitor space. So they have their own access. You do not have to share yours, uh, your sign up uh, name and uh, and password. So you, if you declare them, we validate. If it takes too long, if you want to know when it will be validated don't hesitate and call us but um but yeah they they can have their own credentials
I can see a question about shuttles. Um, as you purchase a shuttle ticket, you will not be able to book any uh, departure time or any seat, uh, just the chance to benefit from the shuttle service. So I can see a question about the parking. Um, if you're an exhibitor, you can uh, buy parking. If you have a bare stand, you can buy the parking uh, accesses directly on your store, uh, on the exhibitor uh, space. If you have a fitted stand, please contact your uh, stand builder. They will be able to order them for you. And you don't need the license plate for the car parking, the car park slots are not by license plate you just need to have uh, the voucher so once you buy it you find it in uh, participation and my, my markings and you will find the, the vouchers directly and you can just download them you don't need the license plate, plate in advance we do know that some of you will only get the license plate once they get to paris maybe the day before or just on the day so don't worry about that you can just uh, buy the car park slots without without the ticket without the license plates uh, the logipass link uh, you can find it on the exhibitors uh, guide but uh, we it is also on this uh, presentation so it's going to be available when we send you the presentation and the and the recording as well I can see a question regarding decorators. Uh, declaring decorators is mandatory. Um, you are required to um, declare your decorator only in case they need to access the exhibitor area to place the technical orders for you. Um, otherwise, it is not mandatory. Uh, but still, um, should they intervene in set during setting up and dismantling, uh, they are required to have um, the right kind of badges. Um, also, uh, just a quick question, a uh, quick um, information about invoicing. Um, if uh, the orders, uh, technical orders are placed via the um, uh, decorator exhibitor area, uh, by default, the invoicing address will be its um, address. Um, and if you need to change it, you will be able to do so uh, before finalizing the order. Um, this system gives you the opportunity to choose a different billing address should you need to. Um, but yeah, otherwise the billing address is linked to the exhibitor area you are placing your orders from. So by default, uh, it will be your invoicing address if you place the orders via your um, exhibitor area. Otherwise, if you have declared your decorators and if the decorators is placing orders uh, on your behalf, the invoice voicing address will be its Should your code not be working, um, we are aware of that. We have a 
small glitch <laughs> that we are already addressing. A few, not not that many, but few companies were concerned by this, and we are already correcting it. So it should be fixed um, within max 24 hours. Thank you for your patience. I can I can see that quite a lot of questions can find answers in the exhibitors guide. So please, please, I really invite you to um, go in the logistics tab and in the practical info tab of your exhibitor area and to download the exhibitor guide and to read it carefully because it's very uh, thorough and you will find in it all the information regarding deliveries, main contacts, procedure, time slot uh, for deliveries and a lot of very useful useful information so please I know it's a it's a long document but you do not need to go through it all if you don't want to uh, it's interactive you can control F and find the keyword that you are searching for but please I kindly invite you to download it um, and to go through it uh, and to read it thoroughly thank you Uh, I see some questions on delivery as well. Please do remember if you have anything delivered to your stand, you need to be there to uh, to receive it. We do not take responsibility in uh, an order being lost on the way. You need to be there. <clears throat> A responsible uh, person from your team needs to be there on the stand to uh, receive any kind of delivery. <clears throat> And yeah, in addition, to, uh, thank you, Kaliste. In addition to that, should you not be there, you feel free to contact uh, uh, our carriers and movers whose contact details are in the exhibitor area under practical info list of suppliers uh, because they might be able to offer you a service um, and to be there for um, to receive your goods. Uh, so please see with them. But yes, it, it will be preferable that someone of your team will be there to take care of the deliveries. As Kaliste mentioned about your exhibitor um, badges, there's a rule um, for the quota being given to you as an exhibitor. Should you need more, uh, you will be able to purchase them via the online store. Uh, both exhibitor badges and VIP badges are uh, there, so both of them can be purchased. Um, instead, um, service badges and setting up and dismantling, I mean, dismantling badges sorry, uh, are um, not limited, so you should uh, ask as many as you need. But please do be advised that um, additional badges are available for purchase in the online store.
that after you place your order for badges, a small a delay it's needed for the quota to be charged on your system. So let's say that um, the uh, additional badges will be ready uh, the day after you um, finalize the order. Thank you. So um, we will try and get back to all of you for many of the details. Like Valentina said, please do have a look at the exhibitor guide. It does have a lot more details than you can uh, it, that we imagine at first, but uh, go on there. Do not hesitate to use the contacts we gave you um, and uh, the phone number as well if you want to give us a call. And uh, I think we are out of time now, but uh, we wanted to thank you all for coming and uh, thank you very much for listening to us for the past hour. And we will send you the presentation and the recording. They will both be available soon. And that will be all for us. I don't know if uh, anyone wanted to give you a little uh, wave and goodbye. And uh, thank you very much for coming. <laughs>